So today we're going to be talking about Anine and I feel like this is an interesting unit that could get a good easy A. And all they have to do is give her one small change and I feel like she could be a runnable last option on the very few category teams that she's on. Now granted, is Realm of Gods loaded? Yes it is. Is Peppy Gals getting better? I would argue yes. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about Anine. Now, Anine, we're going to be talking about her in her SSR because she does take almost two years to get an Awakening. And as all these, these, uh, World Tournament Ticket Summit characters go, they do take a while to get their Awakening. So Anine is one of them that just got caught in a crossfire with that specific circumstance. Now, Anine comes out during the Extreme Super Bad Bro meta, and she comes out December 18th of 2020. And... Would you run her in ESBR? No, you would not, but she could be a option in there. Granted, she does lower attack. Now, are there a plethora of units that can lower attack on your, let's say, for example, super int team? Yes, but going forth for like the Realm of Gods Extreme Sword Battle stage, which I don't remember is out at the time in 2020. I don't remember exactly when the next 10 stages do come out for esbr back in 2020 but i would say that she's a complete non-factor inside of the realm of god stage i mean you could use her as like a support type unit sure but you're not running an ssr inside esbr nonetheless could you run her as like a final final option yes because she's a support type unit that does lower attack but even with you lowering the enemy's attack with an item and her getting supered you're still dying let's just keep it a, keep it a buck because she's an ssr that's all there is need to be said about that now I'm still going to read what she exactly does in her SSR. Her leader skill is in type 3 key and 50% of stats, so she does have an easy A area leader skill. She gains 30% defense one turn while lowering attack, so she does have a good super attack effect combination. She starts out with 120% attack and defense at the start of the turn, and she gets additional 2 key and 60% attack and defense when HP is 60% or more. So in total, she's getting... Uh, uh, what's that? It's two key and 180% attack and defense at the start of the turn, provided you're above the HP threshold. And not to mention, she does support two categories that she is on, that being Peppy Gals and Romo Gods, both getting 20% attack and 10% defense. So if you're on both categories, she's giving them 40% attack and 20% defense, which is obviously nice support. And she recovers 6% HP at the start of the turn. So she has HP recovery, uh, support type buffs, as well as uh, attack debuffing. So she is helping out the team and three different ways as well as her sufficiently helping herself with 30 percent defense one turn but still she is just in ssr back in the extreme sewer battle meta so she would be like a final 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 option that you would just run on your super int team as well as maybe realm of gods esbr i don't know about that because realm of gods i mean prior this is prior to the six year anniversary because this is uh december of 2020 realm of gods back then would you run her I, you you just wouldn't you wouldn't run her i would say i wouldn't say you wouldn't maybe it's like a final final option because she is supporting she's recovering hp at the start of the turn she is attack debuffing so she does have three things that she is bringing to the table um as an ssr that is nice but still she's just an ssr and if you have a just barrage of attacks back then during the esbr meta attacking that third slot then she's more than likely to get hit by a super and just die with or without an item because she's an ssr um now her post dokkan awakening her dokkan awakening i gotta say all they have to do is give her dodge chance give her a 70 percent chance to dodge inside the third slot as well as give her this is probably unrealistic but if dokkan could just give her a 70 percent chance to dodge just unrestricted listen i don't know I don't know that would be very nice if they don't make it unrestricted then maybe restricted to you having a realm of gods category ally on a turn because the amount of support she's giving guys i'm not gonna lie it's pretty nice now granted she's only on three categories with a i would argue in a, a subpar link set uh i think that one simple change can definitely help her out so with that being said, her new leader skill is just bumped up from 3 key and 50% of the stats to in types, just uh, basically bumped up to 3 key and 70% of the stats. Uh, so pretty much still a easy A area leader skill. She also has the same super attack effect of getting 30% defense one turn while lowering attack, which is obviously still nice. Okay, uh, I had to reread the passive because my dog was snoring 
while uh, I was reading the passes. So, Anine starts out with 120% attack and defense at the start of turn, still from her pre-Dokkan Awakening up until her post-Dokkan Awakening. And she also gets 50% attack and defense when performing a super attack. That is obviously nice considering the fact that she does gain a defensive buff on super in her regular super attack effect. So, attack and defensive buff from her passive to a regular super attack of her only gaining 30% defense one turn on her super attack effect is nice. Certainly, a defensive buff from both her passive to her super attack effect is good. Of course, you guys already know how great that is. Especially for a free-to-play unit where you want these these units to have as much stats as like humanly possible because they have some very low stats like 6831 defense that's crazy low and she also gets three key and a hundred percent attack and defense when hp is 60 percent or more so that is definitely bumped up from her her two key and 60 percent attack and defense up to three key and a hundred percent attack and defense very nice and she supports peppy gals realm of gods and giant forms that's three categories she's supporting she's giving all three of those categories 20 percent attack and defense so all three of them get 20 percent attack and defense but if you're on all three of those categories for whatever reason she gives up to a total of 60 percent attack and defense so she's a triple support type unit and she also still recovers eight percent hp at the start of turn and she has a giant form when conditions are met which is a 50% chance? Yeah, she has a 50% chance to turn into a giant form. Well, turn into a giant, but pretty much it's giant form Anine, okay? <laughs> she has a 50% chance to go into a giant form when HP is 60% or less once only. And she just gets three key. And greatly raises attack temper, which is 50% attack. Yeah, just gains 50% attack for one turn while doing destructive damage to enemy with three key. That's it. That's so her giant form sucks. Let's just, I mean. You're not taking any damage, but it does suck. Let's just call let's let's call it what it is. Um, and I mean her link set's not all the craziest. Uh who's her best linking partner? I mean STR Chi Chi. And then our Peppy Gals. Sure. I mean, I mean two granted both have easy A's. And you are a support type unit. I'm pretty sure you're a monstrous support type unit to Peppy Gals. Um, her best linking partner is STR Chi Chi. That's it. Um that's all. I mean, you could go ahead and use this this tech, uh, Youth Balma, but the thing is that her damage reduction does definitely have the proc, which it more than likely does. I've had it proc me quite a few times, but there's been a couple times where it hasn't proc, and I got exploded, like just destroyed. And there's Kami. We love Kami. <laughs> but um, anyway, she gets her awakening during the red zone meta. Yeah, she gets her awakening during the red zone meta. And I'm pretty sure you guys know you guys know where this is going. She gets cooked in the red zone. I mean, it's obviously, right? She's getting cooked in the red zone. No? I mean, although she's getting uh, attack and defensive buff in her passive, and she's getting a defensive buff on her super attack effect, and she also starts out with 120% attack and defense here, three key, and 100% attack and defense here. And she also gets, she gives herself all these support buffs right over here. Still not enough for the red zone. She's getting destroyed in the red zone. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like, oh, Anita got a Dokkan Awakening. Who cares? She gets cooked in the red zone. <laughs> um, so what is good about her is the fact that she is a triple support type unit to every category that she's on, that being to Peppy Gals, Giant Form, and Realm of Gods. Of course, that's up to a total of 60% attack and defense and support. She's recovering 8% HP at the start of the turn, which is obviously helpful for the team. She's attack debuffing the enemy, which is obviously helpful for the team still. And she also gains a defensive buff on her super attack effect for one turn, which is good, while getting an attack defensive buff on super and her passive, which is nice. She... Yeah, that that's pretty much it right and she also has a giant form in her back pocket but it's just a chance granted it is a 50 percent chance it's still a chance so she has a giant form albeit it is a chance she is an attack debuffer she gains a defensive buff in her super attack effect while gaining an attack defensive buff on super and her passive she has a decent amount of attack and defense for a pre-easy aid unit like she can definitely get an easy aid sooner rather than later right because she's from 2022 and of course she's a support type unit that recovers hp so she helps out the team, but I feel like all they have to do is give her a dodge. Give her like a 70% chance to dodge in the third slot because you want her to sit inside the last slot and be a support type unit, right? It's, yeah, no, that just makes the most sense, no? Because that's her, that's the biggest thing about her. 
is that uh she's a support type and she gives up to 60 percent attack and defense and support granted you're on those specific amount of categories while debuffing attack and recovering hp so you give her like a, a 50 50 is more realistic but a 70 percent chance to dodge how about this inside the first or second slot a 50 percent chance to dodge as the first or second attacker in a turn but she's inside the third slot a 70 percent chance to dodge no or maybe let her have a 70 percent chance to dodge if you have a realm of gods or peppy gals or giant form category ally oh god no not giant form um maybe peppy gals peppy gals more fairly or realm of gods more fairly either or but giant form hell no they get restricted though right if they don't want to be you know that's like dokkan don't be stingy right and then make this guarantee make this giant form guarantee like because why is this a chance why this is already an archaic thing to have on a unit a giant form Shout out to Power Awakening Piccolo. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, I think that's about it. I mean, although it's definitely you not taking any damage, you're not really doing any damage. It's like, if you're not Power Awakening Piccolo, and if you're not, I don't know, like, LR, Riverian, Kakunza, and Rosie, even then, I don't even, like, I don't know. I think that's about it. The bad thing about this card, I would say, is that um, if you're not running this character with, like, other dragon ball saga well oh it's right because dragon ball saga is any character before the 23rd world tournament ah so it's 22nd world tournament and before right it's anything 22nd world tournament and before yeah so yeah anything before the 20 bro <laughs> it's so stupid i think like if whatever whatever it's the bad thing about this card um no defensive ability pretty much no defensive ability that's it and when i say defensive ability like dodge damage reduction guard but you don't want to give this character damage reduction unless they're getting a crazy amount of defense after supering or i know that's it yeah just if they just get a crazy amount of defense after supering you don't want to give them damage reduction if that's the case um dodge is definitely the best way to go for a free-to-play unit like this like dodge is definitely the way to go for free-to-play ezas when they do give this character eventual eza so that is about it um i'm pretty much already stated the good thing about this character and its ssr form and the bad thing which the good thing is that it's their, their support type unit they attack debuff they gain defensive buff and on their super attack effect um they recover hp so support debuffing attack and hp recovery as well as gaining a defensive buff on super but the bad thing is that they're an ssr right and it's totally a last option that you'd want to run in extreme sewer battle mode and then post okan awakening um good thing is that uh a attack a defensive buff on super and their passive um still attack debuffing still gaining defensive buff on super uh a triple support type unit recovering hp still has a giant form in the back pocket but the problem is is lack of categories link sets a little wonky outside of db saga characters and no defensive ability to fall back on like dodge damage reduction guard pretty much um what 200 percent leader skills are you on just roshis <laughs> roshi yes sir and i think that was about it best link of partners scr gg which chi chi is a great wow they're getting a lot of stats so in total they're getting eight key 62 percent attack 12 percent defense debuffing the enemy's defense by 15 percent getting a seven percent chance to crit and a five percent chance to dodge very nice very nice let me see chi chi don't you give crazy support all right post eza if i remember correctly ah uh, she gives peppy gals characters three key and 120 percent defense wow and she gives two key and 50% defense to all allies that are not on the Peppy Gals category. So she's still a, a solid support type unit. So that is about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Peace.